Hey YouTubers, my name is Amber. I hope you're enjoying a fabulous Monday. I was tagged by Faithers K to film a video talking about the products that I've hit pan on or used halfway up. And so this video is gonna be more about what I'm using in the shower, hair care, and some skin care, um, and that sort of thing. So if you wanna see the makeup that I'm using, go on and check out my Pan That Palette update. I'll go on and link it in the description box below um, because I have oriented my makeup all around the Urban Decay Naked Palette so that I ha um, can finish it before December 2014. And also see below because I will include the link to my top 10 Holy Grail Project Pan Tips if you are looking for some additional motivation to get through your makeup collection. So very quickly, let's go through what I have been um, project panning in addition to my makeup um, because I have quite a bit. I'm not gonna go too in depth about each product um, because I figure they will be included in empties videos very soon. So I'll just kind of go through it. Um, as far as most of these things, I have a high end and a drugstore that I use in tandem. So I kind of have a feeling on what I think about both price points. Um, let's first talk about deodorant. The high-end version that I have been project panning is the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant in the scent Vanilla Passion Fruit. And then drugstore, I've been panning the Secret Outlast Unscented Deodorant. I like these for different reasons. Um, the natural deodorant is better for me because it doesn't make me break out. It doesn't have aluminum in it, so it's a little bit healthier for you um, as you're detoxing your body. But I find in the summer, this does not perform well for me at all. It is not an antiperspirant, but with it being so humid outside, I find that when I sweat, it is so disgustingly nasty, stinky, hot mess, not okay. Um, so during the summer, I've incorporated the secret one um, because even though I don't like a lot of the heavy chemicals, um, this keeps me from sweating and it does the job where it's not stinky, whereas I like this um, in the cooler months. So if you're looking to try more natural deodorant, I've tried Jason's and um, Alba and a bunch of different brands. I like La Vanilla the best, even though it's expensive to pay $16 per deodorant container, but it is nice. And you can get them at Sephora, so then you get your Sephora points, you can use Ebates, all that good stuff. So stock up on these if you wanna try natural deodorant in the VIB sale in a few months and you're set. And then as far as skincare in the shower, I have two options. As far as drugstore version, I've been using the Olay Fresh Effects Out of the Swirl swirled deep pore clean exfoliating scrub. I love the smell of this. I think it looks pretty. Does it work as promised? No. I don't depend on this to be my end all be all cleanser. The one I do depend on to be my holy grail of the moment cleanser is the Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. This is amazing. It's weird because when you first buy it and squirt it into your palm, it's solid black. And when you rub it together between your hands, it creates a very calming, warm sensation. So when you apply it to your face, you can just feel um, everything coming out of your skin. If you have any residue left from your makeup or if you have really gross skin from sweating, like I go to Bikram yoga, my skin is disgusting when I get home. These are, you know, great in their own right. I use them both with my Clarisonic face brush and I use a normal brush head. This is a nice way to transition anybody else in your family into skincare. Like if you have a, a man in your life that is new to skincare, this is a nice light scent. It smells exactly like Origins to me, um, but it's a nice not too feminine scent to get them into a skincare regimen and you don't have to follow up um, either with a toner in particular. I've noticed I've done really well showing you what I use to moisturize. So drugstore, high end, but I really love this. I will repurchase this. And I'm about, I'm almost halfway with the Olay, but I'm panning it just to move it out of the way. And I'm over halfway with this Bosha and I will repurchase this at some point. So check these out. And then as far as hair care, um, or actually let me do this first. What I have been using is my moisturizer because since I've been back into Bikram yoga, I find that moisturizers are too intense for my face. Um, I don't like sweating all of those chemicals out and I find that when I wear moisturizers, even if they are 
supposedly lightweight, I find that I struggle more with breakouts because I'm going into Bikram yoga three, four, sometimes five times a week. So what I have been using to moisturize my skin is the Evian Facial Mist. Most people use this as a toner, but for me, it's the perfect amount of moisturization without leaving any residue on my skin or anything to sink in that's gonna come out later when I'm sweating profusely in class. So if you're feeling like your moisturizers are too intense, give this a shot. You can buy them in packs of two for about $14, $15 via Sephora and Ulta. Little expensive for what you get, but considering it's summertime and I do need a moisturizer, this has been a fabulous alternative. And then it's not a cream product. And then I'm missing the drugstore alternative to this one, and I don't wanna to talk too heavily about hair products because Miley from Juicy Fashion 11 um, and I are doing a hair collab on products that we like for um, frizz-free curls and humidity resistant hair um, that is perfect for summer. She's gonna do the high-end products. I'm gonna do drugstore products that I like. So um, I'm in the process of phasing drugstore products back in. What I've been loving if you like high-end frizz-free curls is the Wee Dad Curl Recovery Whipped Curls Daily Conditioning and Styling Primer. This is fabulous absolutely fabulous i run this through my hair and squeeze it into the ends and run it through the tops of my hair it is the perfect primer before i apply any hair gel or any mousse it leaves my curls very soft very conditioned the smell on this is vanilla but it reminds me of something that i wore in high school in a good way um, i get tons of compliments when i wear this because it's just it's really pretty and feminine if you want the drugstore alternative to this product get the um, L'Oreal Everclear uh, Curl Conditioning Cream. It's in the blue pump bottle like this Olay Fresh Effects. Um, go figure, they're both on L'Oreal, but um, it comes in a tube like this. It's bright blue. I'm not crazy about the scent of it, but it performs the same way as this. It's just a great um, primer for your hair before you apply any gel so that your hair is not crispy crunchy if that's not your thing. I know for me, I don't like crispy, crunchy hair. So love this. And then as far as um, dry shampoo, what I've hit pan on, um, I've been using the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo. I'm not gonna talk too much about this because I'll talk about it later. And then um, as far as the rest of my hair care, I've been using the Diva Curl line. Um, it's been my favorite go-to for summer hair care to get that bounce back in my hair. And so I have panned or just about finished the Diva Care One condition. I love the performance of this product, but the smell is a little eh to me. Um, this is supposed to be for the color care because I really don't like the way the original Diva Curl line smells. Like I said, I love the performance of this. My curls bounce back to life. I have great hair that lasts multiple days. It's just the smell is not my favorite. Um, and then as far as gel, I've been finishing off the Diva Care Archangel. It's a great gel. It's not spectacular, but it's not bad, and it doesn't have a lot of the silicones and ingredients that are harmful to our curls and that make them slick, oily, and nasty where you have to wash your hair all the time because products that have dimethicone, any of the silicone um, products in it are not Curly Girl Method approved. So if you want a gel um, that performs well, I prefer the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel over this. But this is nice and it does have the citrusy scent that goes along with the color care, but I prefer the Ultra Defining more. As a curl refresher, I've been panning the Diva Curl Mr. Right. Smells like lavender. Do I feel like it does as promised? It's all right. Um, it does leave my hair a little bit crunchy, but if I just need a quick spritz, it's all right. And then um, as far as the last hair care thing, something I've been loving, I will continue to repurchase this, is the Diva Curl Flexible Hold Hairspray. I am about here on this. Love this, love this, love this, love this. I have not found a hairspray I like more. Again, the scent is a little off-putting to me, but the way it holds my hair, it's very flexible, but my hair, my curls hold for you know about a day, day and a half. Um, if I go to Bikram, I go on and wash my hair every time I have a class because my hair is just disgusting. Um, but this is great. About it on other products that I've hit pan on. Um, don't forget, go on and check out if you want to see the makeup that I've been panning. Um, go on and, and click on that um, 
pan that palette update and then my top 10 holy grail project pan tips and then i am starting to get into the social media so go on and follow me if you want to uh send tweets to me as a twitter um i'm amber f at beauty mama i'll go on and annotate it here below and then follow me on instagram at beauty mama so have a fantastic day. Stay tuned. I've got a lot of things coming your way and more videos now that my schedule's starting to free up a little bit here and a little bit there. So um, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, week, um, and I will see you next time. Bye.